In this question, the principle explains to us that every contract contains a fundamental obligation which may be denoted as the core of the contract and it must be performed, right? Now, irrespective of any exemption clauses recorded in an agreement, if any party fails to discharge the obligation required by such core of the contract, the party shall be guilty of the breach of contract, right? Now, what are the facts? The facts provide that X deposited his luggage at the cloakroom of a railway station on a payment of requisite charges and got a receipt containing conditions in fine print, one of which fully exempted the railways from any misdelivery or loss of any article so deposited. The person in charge of the cloakroom allowed some stranger to take away the luggage of X. In X's action for recovery of his luggage or the equivalent money, the railways sought to rely upon the said exemption clause and tried to avoid their liability. Which of the following is correct? In this question, out of all the four options, the correct answer is A. That is, railway cannot avoid its liability in this case. Now, the agreement of X with the railway clock room is solely for the purpose of safekeeping of X's luggage, right? As is given in the facts. Now, safekeeping and delivering the luggage when asked for by the person who deposited it forms the core of the agreement, this whole agreement between, between X and the clock room, right? The principle clearly provides that irrespective of any exemption clause, if the core obligation of the agreement is not met, it amounts to breach, right? So taking into consideration the second part of the principle, we can say that A is the correct answer. That is, railways cannot avoid its liability in this case.